So my name is Nora Rizvi. I work um, at the International Rescue Committee and um, our union local is OPEIU 277. Kenneth Lawrence. I am out of Local 31, Houston Elevator, Constructors Union. My name is Christine Kelson. I work at Ascension Seat Medical Center in Austin, and NNU is our union. My name is Linda Camunas. My employer is at Marshall's Distribution Center in El Paso, Texas. And um, I am a union member and steward of Workers United. And the life in the union worker is you get up, you go to work and you know you're protected because the union is there to take care of your problems. I wanted to have a voice and have a say and do and make sure that we do work that is going to do, be better for ourselves and for our clients because our work is so, um, you know, taxing and difficult. I wanted to get involved to have a bigger voice for the associates that were here in the facility and for those that didn't think that their voice was being heard. We each other have given each other a voice to stand up for our patients so that patient um, safety is um, improved throughout our hospital. Winning the first contract, uh, yeah, definitely supervisors have changed their behavior. Uh, the morale inside has definitely changed. They're more happier. This is where change happens. Um, with coming together um, in our profession to make change happen, to hold hospitals accountable. I think we have more clarity and we've, we're not afraid to um, communicate our feelings. Having that voice and having that power alongside my colleagues and being excited to come to work and make changes and work together with management and other nurses to make sure that we're creating change. We work for everything we get and just because we're not willing to take lower wages doesn't mean that we're lazy. It just means that we know what we're worth and we're fighting for it. It's a powerful movement and it's a movement outside of Texas, the movement outside of the you know, other states and the U.S. And we really want everyone to feel that power. And, you know, we're behind all of our brothers and sisters that have unionized with us, before us, after us. And we only grow in power the more numbers that we have. And, and the bigger and more people that we have, the bigger our voices. And, the, and that the leadership companies, not in just our facility, but others throughout the state, will their voices will be heard. It's a brotherhood, sisterhood. I mean, you're, this is an extended family, and that's what everybody needs to realize, that unions are a family, and we stick together no matter what.